at its peak, I was receiving hundreds of emails, text messages and WhatsApp on a daily basis, almost 24 hours a day on every single device that I owned. Um, I was scared to go out. I wasn't eating or sleeping. I was paranoid. Um, I was in a, a really poor emotional state. I was diagnosed with PTSD. Sarah, not her real name, was stalked by an ex-boyfriend. Emails and texts turned to physical stalking. He eventually received a restraining order, but she says police were slow to respond as the situation worsened. I was left on hold, people didn't get back to me. The officer in charge of my case was changed frequently. Often it was a trainee detective put on my case. And this was at a time when the stalking behaviours were escalating and I was becoming more nervous and, and literally scared for my life. There's an easy way to tell. If someone's behaviour towards you is fixated, obsessive, unwanted or repeated, it's likely that you're being stalked. This is a recent anti-stalking police scheme, but campaigners led by the Susie Lamplew Trust say forces are failing victims. They say there are systemic issues in how stalking is dealt with, with only 5% of cases in England and Wales ending with a charge. We are still seeing too many cases where police are um, misunderstanding the case that has come forward. They are looking at individual incidents as opposed to recognising this is a course of conduct. Those individual incidents actually constitute a pattern of behaviour, which is stalking. So they're still failing to recognise what I would say is the basics. The National Police Chiefs Council today said it is recognised there is more to do to improve the criminal justice system outcomes for victims of stalking. And we are working closely with the Crown Prosecution Service to understand the progression of cases before the point of charge and court. The number of stalking cases recorded by forces has risen. But a watchdog will ultimately decide whether this super complaint against the police is eligible for investigation. Julian Drucker, 5 News.